Greetings. I have uh, three words have been just speaking so loud to me lately. And uh, acceptance, approval, and offense. And approval and acceptance. Approval and acceptance is like chasing after the wind. You will never catch it, and you will always fall short. You'll always be hurt from it. The Bible says something about being a pleaser of man instead of a pleaser of God. You see, and many of us just want to please man. We want to be accepted by man. And we use material things showing off. I have this, I have that, I have this. To feel accepted. To for applause. Like, yeah, they like me. Or I could have an a, a obnoxious uh, um, personality where everywhere I go I have to be the one who sticks out in the crowd, the loudest, the funniest, and um, just to say, ah, I'm sticking out, you know, and just to have that, that feeling of approval, that feeling of acceptance. Or many of us strive this after the win in a way of... Uh, Making videos or, or putting pictures on Facebook, striving for attention because those, those likes, those hearts make us feel accepted. Those comments make us feel accepted. But you see, you... Seeking for approval in man will only leave you trained, weary, fatigued. And many of us have been living this life for many years like this. And we always fall short. And by the end of the day, we still are feeling lonely. We still don't feel accepted. We still don't feel good enough. But let me tell you who Jesus Christ is. Jesus Christ died on the cross for you before you even knew him. Wow. Speaking about accepted and, and approved. You know what I mean? And there is not one thing that we can do ever for him to give us this. For he has already gave it to us. For he already loves us. So when we come to Christ, there is no more striving for approval or acceptance. We just have to receive his love. And I tell you, there is no better place to be than being in the hands of the one who created you. And, ha and loves you rather than being in the ones being in the hands of the ones who didn't create you and who pretend to love you you don't have to strive no more you don't have to run no more all we have to do to receive this love from God is to just to repent and surrender and say, this life is no longer mine. But I want to live it for you, Christ. I want to live it for you. So stop seeking the approval of man. Stop seeking the, 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 the acceptance of man. For in your loneliness and your brokenness. In your moments of despair and feeling lost. No man can give you what you need. 
No man can give you what you need. But when you come to Christ, them legs will stop chasing the things you can't catch. For he already gives you the things you need. Hallelujah. And the word offense, the spirit of offense will give you a, a life of chaos, will wreak havoc over your life and run you into turmoil. The spirit of offense, to be offended will break a marriage will cause you to be lonely, will divide a household, you will lose friendships. Offense is a tree of death that will bear dead fruit. Attached to its roots is resentment, bitterness, rage, anger. Pride. Is there pride in, a, in, a, in a being offended? Absolutely. You say how? When I am offended, the words in my mind or in my heart speak, how dare you do this to me? How could you say this to me? Do you know who I am? Those words are, exal you're exalting yourself above others. You're placing yourself in a place that is higher than others. For you reign king or queen in your own mind. Saying, how can you do this to me? Do you know who I am? There's no humility in, in offense. You know, and then... Uh, 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 a, f a fence between two people is, is a fortified wall a brick wall that comes between two then comes pride as I said then grows resentment and bitterness what is the answer Jesus Christ again for he is the answer to all things. You know, Christ said that if they did it to me, they will do it to you. So here it is. The spirit of offense will hinder you and cause you so much pain and cause you so much strife. Cause you loneliness. But whatever is done to you, the Lord said, get, if they slap one cheek, you give them the other. You will be spit on. You will be slapped. You will be mocked. You will be hated. You don't stop loving them. For I'm higher than no other. If anything, your heart should be compassionate. Why? And pray for them. Why? Because you see their, their spiritual immaturity. You see their weakness. There is a reason why they are acting like this. There are roots involved of what they share and what they bear. You love them. For I am higher than no one. For I was once in that same position as you were. So let me humble myself. Continue to love you through the process of your anger.
and pray that I could teach you and preach to you and share the gospel to you that you will have a desire to come to repentance and to Christ. Hallelujah. And now I'll tie the two together. When we seek approval, and we don't exceed that person's expectation. And when we, when we feel all of our hard work is not being approved by another, we get offended. The answer to this life is the only Jesus Christ. The answer to your external problems is Jesus Christ. The answer to your internal problems is Jesus Christ. If you don't have Jesus Christ in this life, you have nothing. If you don't have Jesus Christ in your heart, you have nothing. If you don't have Jesus Christ in your mind, you have nothing. Let the Spirit of Christ reside in your body, in your mind, in your heart. Hallelujah.